It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beaver Town and it's a can of their Tropic Gamma Tropical IPA coming in at 7% ABV. The beer has been brewed with pineapple, mandarin, papaya, passion fruit, guva, mango and lime juice. Wow, so this is going to be a really kind of, well, Tropigamma. Let's get the can out into a glass, see what we get. I do love the artwork. Again, Beaver Town do some fantastic artwork on their cans. Here we go then. Using the glass. Oh my goodness me, this looks... It really does look like fruit juice. I've never seen a beer look as fruity as this. I mean, juicy, should I really say? Some, as juicy as this. It's a one to two finger, it's a kind of a yellowish whitey head. Um, the beer, it looks like something from Omnipolo. It looks like a, a, a some kind of lovely, lovely fruit yogurt <laughs> in a glass. Fruit smoothie. Uh, you can see the carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Definitely that side, you could be able to see it. There you go. Should we get the aroma on this beer then? I think it smells absolutely fantastic. Um, I've heard a few different kind of different opinions on this beer. Uh, some people really like it. Some people dislike it. Personally, I think it smells smashing. It smells really, really good. Yeah, you get all of that pineapple and grapefruit and papaya and lime juice and passion fruit. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I really like it. I really do. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fantastic beer. Let me tell you why I like it so much. And it was part of the clue was in the what a fantastic beer. Because make no mistake. It has to be a beer first. Otherwise, I wouldn't be reviewing it on my channel. You still... Yes, you get lots of fresh fruit. I'm not denying that. There's, there's so much in there. But it's somehow balanced. It's somehow balanced between fresh added fruit and fantastic, hoppy, bitter new world hops on the back end and that's the important thing that's what makes this beer a very very good beer i think any more fruit i think and it may have pushed it over the edge a little bit but reviewing over three thousand beers you get to try different beers from all over the world and and all different styles from all over the world and your palate gets pushed to the limit and because my palate's been pushed to the limit I can I can pull all of these flavors out of this beer and let me tell you it's great It's nicely it's nicely carbonated it's not my my little worry when I poured it out was that it was going to taste quite thick like orange juice but it doesn't it, it, it tastes like beer there is a little bit of, let me say, a juicy mouthfeel to it that, that leans itself over to being a juice a little bit. But I'm still thinking beer, I'm still thinking, yeah, absolutely. The hops on the back end, the bitterness on the hops. Yes, you get the bitterness from the grapefruit as well, but the bitterness from the hops is great. It's really great. It is, it is gamma ray with fruit. 
right there. Right at the end where you wouldn't expect a bitter juice to carry on being bitter. It would just fall off in terms of what it's doing to your palate. But this, because there's lots of hops and because it's predominantly an IPA, you still get that bitterness on the back end. Um, I was in the audience um, with Adrian Turney-Jones. Adrian Turney-Jones, that's him. The guy that wrote 3,000, sorry, 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 1,001 beers to try before you buy. And he hated the idea of putting fruit in beer. Um, I don't, I, I believe he didn't like this one. He definitely didn't like the Brewdog Omnipolo flat pack beer that they produced. Um, he said Brewdog sent him two cans and he, he was just not impressed at all. He said, the, the only, and you can watch this if you go over to the Gravity Station Cardiff, if you go over to their Facebook page, they put a video up just last weekend, um, or if you're watching this in a few weeks' time, scroll through the Gravity Station's feed and you'll be able to see that they, they, they put a live video up of a discussion panel, and he was on the panel, and he mentioned all of this stuff on there, so, I mean, he did it live anyway, so I'm, I'm pretty sure he won't mind me kind of re-repeating it all. Um, but he was in the he was in the kind of thinking of the only people who should be putting fruit in beer are a certain part of Belgium where they've been doing it for hundreds and hundreds of years. My argument is, well, they would have hundreds and hundreds of years ago they would have experimented with beer and people would have thrown their arms up in the air back then and gone, "You can't do that to beer and and hundreds of years later, it's seen as a national treasure, if you like. So why can't we? In the 21st century, why can't we experiment now? And why can't we add fruit to beer? Uh, and why can't we show our talents as as, as brewers uh, around the world? Not just the UK, but, but brewers from all over the world. I'm a massive fan, I love it. Let me quickly get some more flavors for you, otherwise it won't be a beer review. It'll be me talking about fruit beers. So up front, Hoppiness, definitely hoppiness. There's a little bit of biscuity and breadiness coming through from the malt. Then it's over to the fruit. Lots of pineapple and, and grapefruit and uh, what, what are we saying? Mandarin, papaya, passion fruit, mango and lime. You get all of that in there. But then it quickly goes over back to being a beer on the back end. It's quickly kind of bitter, grapefruity and citrusy in, in a more of a hop way. Um, fantastic, easy drinking beer, 7% ABV. I think it's a smashing beer. It's right up my street. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, go and try Go and try it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a great beer. Uh, I'm going to rate it now. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. It's a nine out of ten from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.